Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the in-depth look at drawing tools tutorial for ChemDoodle version 5. First, a quick note. If you click a blank area of a document, regardless of what drawing tool you've selected, you'll place an atom. If you're ever unsure of what you're drawing, just look at your cursor. If an atom is trailing it, you'll place a new atom. Otherwise, the currently selected drawing tool comes into effect. It is always important to know which atom you're about to alter, too. When you position your mouse, an amber circle appears over the atom you're about to work with. For instance, if you want to delete an atom, hover over it, then press backspace or delete. In fact, these shortcut keys work for anything which you hover over in the doodle area. These amber brackets show I'm working with a bond, which I can then delete. Each time you place these atoms, you're actually placing a carbon atom. If you want to place a different element, you need to use either the Labels toolbar, the Elements panel, or the Symbols widget. In Labels, select an element and place it anywhere in the document. If you hover over a carbon atom and left-click, you can change it to your selected element. For elements that aren't in this toolbar, you can use shortcuts. Hover over your chosen atom. Don't click. Instead, type the first letter of the element symbol that you want to insert. Keep pressing the key until it cycles through to your desired element. So if you wanted iron, you type F twice. Alternatively, you can manually enter them using the Set Atom Label tool, as shown in the introduction to ChemDoodle video. ChemDoodle saves the most recently entered custom label, so you can hit Enter and repeat the most recently used custom label, even if you were using other label shortcuts. You'll notice that by default, lengths and angles of bonds are fixed when drawing. You can alter the default fixed length in Preferences, Visuals in the Bond sub-tab. Angles are fixed to every 30 degrees. You can turn off fixed lengths and fixed angles in Preferences under General by deselecting those options. Alternatively, you can temporarily disable fixed lengths using Shift or disable fixed angles using Alt. If they're already disabled, then Shift and Alt will enable them instead. You can hold down both keys at the same time to create a bond without a fixed length or angle. This holds true not just for drawing single bonds, almost all drawing tools which draw bonds in the doodle area, including the templates widget, can have altered lengths or angles by using shift and alt respectively.